Welcome to the second part of this tutorial. In the previous part we've modeled these pieces in here and now we're gonna continue modeling our weapon. So we have this piece in here, in here that is unfinished and we're gonna model this. First I'm gonna tab into edit mode and select this loop cut and deselect this part in here and this one in there or maybe uh, select this and scale that along Y till about this is quite thin alright now we are gonna press 3 and just extrude that in a little bit okay so we have some pieces in here that need to be fixed first this comes out so we need to take that in and we're gonna uh, take this all this loop cut down till about there make sure no face uh, sticks out no back face comes out in there and uh, maybe fix this a little bit yeah a little bit up more something like that and I'm gonna bring this even lower alright I guess this is enough okay that looks fine and I'm gonna delete this edge in here cause that one is not so oh, helpful in there and I'm gonna scale the, the, those along Y till they have the same width well, now I'm gonna uh, make a face in here in there and we're gonna have a triangle in there and one in there alright uh, maybe a little bit lower something like that also it's uh, we have an edge in here that we need to fix this one in here which we're gonna bring up so it uh, it will kind of fade in something like this okay that looks almost nice let's check it out with the subdivision surface modifier and I think we need to take it uh, just a little bit lower alright because we can afford to take it lower and this one just a little bit ok I'm not gonna bother very much with this uh, make sure you arrange them how you like if it looks good for you then it means it's probably ok right make sure it's it looks nice on there alright now I'm gonna model this part in here and for that I'm gonna tap into edit mode into this object and make sure you don't select anything and I'm gonna select this loop cut in here shift D to duplicate it right click and I'm gonna press P to separate by selection and now we have two objects one is this that we already modeled and another one the object that we already uh, that we separated earlier which is a circle alright so I'm gonna tab into edit mode into this one and 
I'll start modeling this pieces in here. All right, extrude that one, scale it up. Something. Uh, I know. Make sure the width is kind of the same as this one in there. So that's how it will look nice. Okay, we could tab out of edit mode and I'm gonna move that origin point so we can work a little bit easier. Alright, I'm gonna snap this to that vertex in there. Now back into edit mode and I'm gonna extrude that on the X till that vertex uh, to that vertex also we duplicated the modifier we don't need that for the moment and we're gonna unite these objects in one by pressing ctrl J that will join them together alright now we have one object and we can edit it better into edit mode okay so select this loop cut again I'm gonna extrude it along uh, X till that point. Alright, then I'm gonna yeah, extrude it again to about that point, and I guess that will be fine. Now I'm gonna select these vertices in here and delete them. As you see, we have those left in there, which we are gonna gonna use, and also delete these vertices in here that you cannot see. Yeah, I think that's enough. All right, that looks better. Now we're gonna join these faces together. In fact, we're gonna delete more faces in here. We're just gonna select this one and select a face that will come kind of perpendicular with that one. So, these two in here. And make a face between those. So, that's how we're gonna unite all of those. We don't need these vertices in here. Alright, and in here I'm gonna make an N-Gon face, which is actually a, poly, a polygon face. Alright, same thing in the other side, on the other side. I guess you could you could have just uh, used a mirror modifier to make this, but I'm just gonna do them as it is if I started already alright an angle in here and another one in there alright that looks better in there now we need to fix these faces in here ok switch to face select mode and I'm just gonna delete all of these uh, interior faces those faces in there because I don't need them anymore this one maybe as well alright that looks fine now back to vertex select mode and I'm gonna delete these ones yeah more of those and I'll make a face in here and a face in there alright now another and gone and the same thing in here one face in there and the NAND gone in here. Alright, so pretty much this is how it looks. You can just maybe take this down to make it 
uh, more round if you like that all right and the same thing uh, we're gonna do for the other side first I'm just gonna delete these faces in here I don't need them anymore delete faces all right back to vertex and I'm gonna duplicate this uh, circle in here okay shift D snap to that vertex okay and we're gonna scale this extrude and then scale it up kind of the same width as the other one and we're gonna do of course the same thing in here extrude again and if you like it a little bit uh, wider you can extrude again to there I'm just gonna leave it like like it is okay so I'm gonna delete uh, these edges, uh, these vertices in here delete vertices and kind of do the same thing with these faces in here delete them make an end gone delete these ones as well and another face in here okay that part is done now we just have to make these faces in here look nice and on the other side all right so actually initially I, I thought it would last a little bit it wouldn't last so uh, much this tutorial it won't be so long but since I will have to make uh, more parts than three as I initially thought okay so we're gonna close this gap in here and we're gonna make a face between those vertices between that circle actually I'm gonna fill up that face in there all right now let's see what we miss yeah we miss that uh, object in there which is kind of basically a square kind of like a square if you can see that and the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna select some of these vertices, uh, some of these faces in here. Uh, those two, those two, uh, and maybe two more on the other on the each side. So it will be kind of thick. Alright, now extrude them down or no, just right click to place, now scale along Z0, now grab them down. And we're gonna model that thing in there from this object that we have. First I need some extrusion outwards 
and for that I'm gonna add a loop cut which yeah it's not very precise uh, but in fact I think I can scale zero this one as well yeah I'm gonna make a surface uh, kind of like a plane grab them down to that point and this will be will uh, look kind of like a plane here on the bottom it ain't gonna be a square anymore right and we have some in here okay something like that now we're gonna scale this zero as well now we can extrude out that face in there which I'm gonna do by selecting these faces in here yeah make sure you select the back ones as well and just extrude those out I'm not so sure what that thing in there is or what it does but uh, it just look nice as it is and yeah perhaps we're gonna make this a little bit bigger and we're gonna select all of those vertices in there all right and kind of uh, not sure how, how if I can explain how this looks but I had a closer image of this and it has some kind of squares in here I'm just gonna show you I'm gonna ex uh, extrude those outward a long way and there are there are some squares in there not sure what they are for okay and this object also has kind of like an edge on there and to do that I'm gonna select all of all this face extrude that down extrude down again back ones as well and extrude those out just a little bit and I'm not sure what that edge is for but it is in there so I just put it in there alright this is uh, pretty much how this object looks not sure what that does but yeah anyway uh, Also, if I made the that circle a plane, I'm gonna make this part in here as well. Deselect the left part, scale along z zero. Okay, and that will be a plane object. And as you can see in here, and on the reference photo in here that's uh is that thing in there that kind of i think it holds this object in place so i'm just gonna uh, quickly model that uh, it will be a little bit different from the rest the, from the reference photo I'm gonna extrude that out just a little bit and I'm gonna add a cylinder which of course I'm gonna scale way down and bring it in here 
rotate 90 degrees along X place it in here okay the dimensions are right the Y axis is not right something like that this will come a little bit out and I'm gonna add the torus a uh, torus object in here of course scale this down as well rotate along X Scale it down, and this will be kind of like a key that holds this piece together. Yeah, something like this. Alright, so this is the object smooth shading. We're gonna apply this subdivider we have some faces in there as uh, some black spots and that's because the faces are facing inward we can just fix that by selecting all of the object and pressing ctrl n okay that is now fixed okay now let's fix some things in here by adding some loop cuts sharpen some uh, some angles in here with loop cuts same in here alright so basically where you need to sharpen this uh, where you need to sharpen the corners you just add the loop cut ok I think it looks nice okay to fix this in here you have some you can see that spot on there or whatever just extrude this uh, face in here and scale it down just a little bit as you can see that's how you sharpen a circle because you can't add a loop cut in there okay maybe do the thing with the same thing with this one All right. Extrude, scale it down, and that looks nice. All right, I wasted some time on this piece in here. Now I'm gonna show you how to model this main piece. I'm gonna start and make some cooler stuff. First, I'm gonna add the circle, and this uh, this modeling in here is going to take a while okay so I'm gonna just scale that to the proper dim dimensions yeah this is in perspective view the photo so we just approximating the dimensions also scale down along Y till above something like that now we're gonna start modeling this piece in here which we are gonna first extrude along Z uh, X all right and this will be this edge in there or how you would call it first uh, next I'm gonna add another circle which is going to be this part in here gonna snap that to that vertex scale it down okay and I'm gonna make this uh, part in there plane so this one two three four five uh, five vertices 
Okay, and I'm gonna extrude it now. First to there. Then I'm gonna extrude, scale it up a little bit. Extrude again. Extrude again, scale down to that point. Okay, and then scale again till here for the moment. Okay, first I'm gonna add four loop cuts, which I'm gonna scale down. And these ones will be for that object, that lines in there. Alright, now I can extrude from this plane. I can extrude that face down. So I'm gonna add the loop cut in there, in here. And I'm gonna start extruding it. Alright. I'm gonna add one loop cut in here because we have some empty space in there and one in here okay now I select all of these vertices in there just like that and I'm gonna extrude them down to this point till about here yeah Okay, and I think I can make this a little bit thinner. Something like that would be would be better. All right, now. I'm going to extrude this again to that point and I'm going to fix this empty space in there by just deleting all of those faces and replacing them with the right ones. Okay, one face in here. And as you can see, we leave, uh, we are leaving an empty space that we can see through. Okay, that looks nice. Now, all of these vertices actually need to go. No, it's good as it is down in here. Alright, deselect that ones. These will come. Uh, in fact, I'll just bring them all the way down to the end and I'm gonna add a loop cut in here. Take that up. Okay, and this is how we are going to extrude this part in here. Alright, I'm gonna leave this side as it is for the moment. In fact, I'm gonna delete these vertices. Okay. First delete all of those faces in there so you won't have some troubles to fix this later. Yeah, this one there as well. Delete faces. 
All right, now we can start and extrude this. Okay, extrude. We're gonna scale that along Y out, so you can see this is how it looks. All right. Uh, you don't need it so much, maybe. Maybe just a little bit more. Tell about that. All right, that looks fine. Now extrude that again up along Z and replace them if you need to. As I have to do in here. Okay, that looks kind of fine. It looks good. Maybe this one a little bit up. Okay. Now extrude this again. And this time we're gonna scale them along Y inward. Not quite till that phase, just kind of to the half of the distance between that. Now extrude this along Z. Okay, so this is how it will look. We're gonna first subdivide this, subdivide this, and fill up these faces in here. Alright, these ones as well. Face in there. And in fact, I'm not going to subdivide this because I need it for all of that face. So I'm going to add a loop cut make a face in there face in there uh, you can see this so well but we just fill in uh, filling those empty spaces in there if you can't see it so well you can just hide all of this top part just press H to hide it. Alright, now we can see just a little bit better what we are doing. Alright, just filling up those empty spaces in there. Okay. So for this last face, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to make a face in there, but I'm going to join these two, these two vertices. And now I'm going to make a face. Okay, same thing in here. I'm just going to add a loop cut for that part. Join them. and start making faces gonna hide this okay oh, this is uh, the modeling I'm doing right now it's it's not very much of a tutorial yeah I know but I'm just quickly modeling this so I can actually finish it in this tutorial. Okay, Alt H to unhide that, and we could take that lower. 
all of that. Yeah, it looks good for the moment. Now we have an empty space in here that we need to model. And the way I'm gonna do that is let me just check. Yeah, I'm just gonna extrude this down, place it in here, in here. And in here, this one comes up just a little bit. And just as we did with the other one, we're gonna delete these faces if there are any. Also, these two, we don't need those. Okay, and start extruding. Extrude scale along Y. Uh, extrude down. and fill this empty space ok as you can see we have some angles in there as well but since bmesh is uh, bmesh uh, came into blender this is quite nice the angles the it made possible the appearance of angles the beam mesh so uh, we ju we're just gonna leave that to an uh, angon for the moment okay let's just check if we made everything right in here okay as you can see uh, those two faces are not united together so the way I'm gonna unite them is simple subdivide this select the subdivided point snap to there also I'm gonna do the same thing in here snap it and now you can just remove doubles remove three vertices and those faces are now united together alright uh, one thing I forgot this cylinder in there I could just extrude that out and make it a part of this uh, whole mesh but that is gonna take too long so I'm gonna add the cylinder scale it down and I'm gonna manually place that in there that's kind of how it looks in there alright and I don't think yeah you can see those faces so I'm just gonna make some faces in here so you can see so you cannot actually see what's happening inside okay cover up all this side Thank you. 
Yeah, I need some. If I had loop cuts, as you can see in here, I have two in here and three in there. Three vertices, so I cannot make um I can join them and make a clean mesh only if you add another one but I don't I'll not do that all right same thing as we did before subdivide this snap it to there and remove doubles make that for the other one as well all right so this is kind of all that is to it almost we have those things in there and for that uh, this piece in here this all of this in the cylinder is not actually round I'm gonna select uh, the vertices there are opposing to each other and we're gonna scale them two by two all right uh, this one with this one and these ones are the last ones which I think I may brought a little bit too much alright so it seems I scale this on more axis than on the Y. I also scale it on the Z, on the X axis, which I should have not. Okay, I need just a little bit more scaling in here. Oh. I'm pressing wrong buttons. Scale along Y. Okay, this looks kind of crappy. More scaling. It looks just nice. Scale, press Y. Uh, I'm pushing wrong buttons right now. Okay, so just that will be fine, I guess. I'm just gonna switch back to face select mode and I'm gonna show you how you can do that. Well, you have to delete some of these faces. Faces and uh, more faces I 
gonna delete all of that faces I also deleted the back ones and this needs to be more curved scale along Y Oh yeah, something something like this. And now the way we're gonna make that those lines in there is uh, like this. Maybe bring those back just a little bit. All right, and we're gonna uh, for the for this demonstration. I'm just gonna take those back just a little bit, and you wanna select this with this one. And if you make a face, it will it will be kind of. Uh, outside of these vertices in here so you actually do a face in here a face in here and the one another one in here and this is the effect that you're gonna make and this is how you actually make all of those uh, things in there Okay, so I'm gonna finish making this for this tutorial, and yeah, this is quite a f uh, this was quite a faster tutorial. Didn't have much time to explain, and I'm hoping the next one will be a little bit better and easy to understand. In the next tutorial I'm gonna show you how to model this thing in here and that will be uh, more fun than this than what we've done so far okay so I'm gonna finish this I think I'm gonna pause the tutorial and yeah finish modeling this and this and I'm gonna see you in the next tutorial